My name is Kazai Rashad Franklin. I am a full-time student, part-time musician, um, writer, creator, curator, and just overall adventurer. Um, so my love for the outdoors was actually birthed in me by my grandfather. Um, he lived in an area called Cedar Hill, Texas. It bordered um, Cedar Hill State Park. So I remember being three, four years old, going to his house over the weekends, and we'd get on the trails for hours, and just the fun and the camaraderie that we had just instilled in me this early love for the outdoors and just wanted to grow in it more, and it's now kind of expounded into what it is today. So it wasn't until I started attending these summer camps over the summers that I kind of got more introduced to the outdoors and different activities like kayaking and rock climbing and biking. Um, and I just got addicted to these activities and at the same time didn't really see any other people that looked like me at these camps or in these spaces. So it also kind of instilled in me in a young age around that time, just the lack of inclusivity in these activities. So that's what kind of planted in me, just the longing to be a pioneer in that area and just wanting to be the representation, wanting to be an example that I never had. Um, and I owe a lot of that to my grandfather, just kind of for leading the way and what that looks like for me. My grandfather grew up in an era in which he wasn't allowed to do those kind of things. You know, just when you go back and, you know, throughout history, looking like the civil rights movement, you know, in the 1860s, for example, you know, black people couldn't enjoy the outdoors. Um, there were systemic laws that hindered people that looked like me from going into state parks, national parks, public recreational areas. Once, you know, we were allowed to, my grandfather took that as a, as, as a mission to make sure that um, the generation that he is setting, the legacy that he is bringing up, gets to enjoy these things. Myself, my cousins, my siblings, that we were introduced to things like this, but it just turns out that I was the one that kind of just fell in love with it quickly and stuck with it. I would say that my favorite part when it comes to doing the outdoor activities I love, like running or biking or hiking or climbing, is that I'm not focusing on anything except what I'm doing in the moment. Just being present where my feet are. I think there are so many just distractions in our world today that we don't allow ourselves to really just be where we are and focus on where our feet are, where our hands are in that moment. So just allowing myself to go on a bike ride or a daily walk, you know, even if it's just like a couple miles, it just allows me to reset mentally. It allows my heart to rest and really ponder on things I haven't really allowed myself to ponder on. So I would say like that's something that I really make sure I never take for granted when I do my activities. Just to, yeah, know that it is, you know, affecting my physical health, it's making me stronger, it's building my endurance, but it's also affecting my heart and my mind all in the same way. To simplify it, like biking has truly just changed the way I, I just value just transportation in general. Um, whenever I bike the same roads I used to drive on, it allows me to just slow down and make sure I'm not missing out on just the simple things of life. Maybe it's like, I don't know, driving past like a little league baseball game and seeing, you know, just kids, you know, just enjoying their innocence. Like biking has helped me slow down and kind of bring back that same childlike purity in my life. If that makes sense, and it's something that will stay with me forever, as long as my body will be able to do it. So right now, I am a full-time student through Full Sail University, and I'm studying sound design. Um, and it's been kind of hard to figure out how to intertwine just my love for music and sonic creativity in the outdoors. But it's been actually a really sweet journey to see how God has just been really kind enough to bring those two together. Um, so I've seen the way just my love for the outdoors has influenced my music and just my storytelling. And I've also seen how my music has allowed myself to just kind of put soundtracks to the outdoors and kind of just like soundtracks to like what I'm seeing and what I'm doing. And it makes every moment that much more special because I'm able to mentally and visually create like a picture um, of where I am. And that way I'm able to bring it back with me when I do go back home. Yeah, I would say just being a writer has helped me a lot with self-reflection um, and even tying that into the outdoors, being able to just find a place of solitude, um, a, a place of silence and just kind of escaping just the noise of the world, um, the noise of social media, the noise of just modern accessibility in this digital age. I'm um, just writing more, kind of retreating has helped me reflect more as a man, um, just to see like things just internally I need to work on, um, ways I can be a better ally, ways I can be a better friend, a better advocate, but I owe a lot 
of my personal growth, um, just within my manhood, to just writing and just reflecting. Um, and being able to be just transparent and vulnerable and honest in all that I do and all that I say and all that I write and portray in the world.